sounded like this. So much fun. <laughs>
have checked into a home health aid companies and I cannot afford the $20 per hour with a three hour minimum. I am looking into other options that would be similar. My kids are doing everything that they can and they're extremely helpful, but I need help. Like, it's just a little bit too much. Even the fees with care.com are a little bit out of my budget right now. I feel like my entire body is shaking on the inside. It's not very much fun. I am possibly looking into hiring a housekeeper, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford it. I'm waiting to hear back from a couple different organizations to see if I might be able to qualify for some kind of in-home assistant. It's very frustrating because I can't participate in my kids' lives as I would like. Shadow, my 16-year-old, had homecoming last night. His dad sent me a picture of Shadow and his girlfriend before the homecoming. It was so cute. Shadow said that they had a good time. Fiabia is really upset right now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear her. But she is yelling at a phoenix fire. <laughs> I don't know what they're yelling about, but... Uh, whatever. I got these new soaps from a little store. Uh, I ordered them online, but they're all natural made and the one soap I love it it's my favorite it's called rosemary mint charcoal it smells amazing but I can't use it on my scalp so maybe it'll become my new body wash I'm not sure it makes my scalp a little bit too dry <laughs> I am in the process of adding subtitles slash closed captions to my videos. The video catching up with Ileana, which may or may not be linked in the description, and I might link it above. That's the first video that I'm really working on getting the closed captions on. But if you guys are able to help do some closed captions for me, that would be huge and it would be really awesome. Share this with your friends too. I have a link that will be definitely in the description that you guys can go to and contribute to this community. If you feel like adding some closed captions to some of my videos, then definitely check the link. Um, that would be really cool. I'd love to get you guys involved. I have to take breaks periodically when I'm talking because it really tires me out. The act of talking itself is very tiresome and strenuous on my body. I also have to remember to speak more slowly because when I speak at my regular speed it just feels like someone is shaking the inside. I know it's odd. It's very weird. It's unusual. I don't think it's very good but that's what happens? It feels like I'm being shaken on my insides. It feels like they're trembling or like electricity going through me or something. I'm not entirely sure how 
how to describe it, but it's definitely weird. I just want to be better already. <sighs> this is so frustrating. It's almost been a month. If you guys know of anyone else who might be suffering from a throat injury, or if you are in a situation where someone you know gets a throat injury, I would just strongly suggest that you tell them to get medical attention as soon as possible because the neck is a very sensitive place. It's very delicate. There's a lot going on inside the neck and it's just a very delicate area. Hopefully I can get this video closed captioned as well. I worked on the subtitles for catching up with Ileana today and it completely depleted what little energy I had. Shadow got his driver's license the other day. Shadow thought he was not going to pass the driver's test because he had not practiced very much in his car. He bought himself a car with the money that he made at his job. He's been working at this job for about a year and he's actually a shift leader in training. He gets uh, a good amount of hours and he got a raise. Shadow's dad was able to come and get him early before the driving test the other day. They practiced maneuverability I think Shadow said like one time before the test. Shadow told me that there were two points on the driving test where he knew he messed up, but the maneuverability went beautifully. And he said that the state highway patrol officer told Shadow in the car that he had passed. And Shadow was just sitting there behind the wheel thinking to himself, oh my gosh, this actually just happened. <laughs> I'm just elated. I'm so excited for him. Uh, him and Phoenix are going to be starting an arts program. It's a nonprofit organization in our community that has free art classes to the public. So their art classes are going to be starting up this next week. They're both going to be studying piano. Phoenix Fire is going to be doing Ceramics 102. And Shadow's other class is out oh, costume and set design. The classes are broken up into seasons. Like, I think there's a fall. I don't know if there's a winter one. And then there's also a spring. And at the end of the year, there's an open house for the performances. It'll be fun to see how they progress with their piano studies. I think that is probably enough for today. So I am going to say farewell for now. Leave a comment down below and jump on the contributors team and help uh, caption some of my videos. Like, subscribe, and share this on your way out. And I will talk to you all next time.